greetings and thank you for this opportunity to come to you and spend these few moments in God's Word and prayer. This week we've been talking about learning how to release the gift of prophecy or how to prophesy. And we've been sharing simple instructions on how all of us can do that. And God really wants all of us to be our vessels that He can use in this manner and God can use you. So there's not no reason why you should hold yourself back because the Holy Spirit is in you and upon you. So we've been talking about various steps that we can take in order to minister to other people through the simple gift of prophecy. Today we want to learn one more instruction which is don't mix the prophetic word. In 1 Corinthians 13 and verse 9 the Apostle Paul says, For we know in part and we prophesy in part. In other words, God knows everything, but He only reveals bits and pieces to us. God is omniscient, we are not. He only, only what He reveals to us, only what He impresses on us, we can speak. So when you pray and say, God, are you saying something to such and such person? And you listen in your spirit, maybe a word, maybe a scripture, maybe God reveals certain things He wants you to speak to that person. So what must we do? Speak that word faithfully. God says that in Jeremiah 23, He says, Let him who has my word, let him speak my word faithfully. So you, must, you and I, we must commit ourselves to speaking what He reveals to us faithfully. Don't add to it. Don't subtract from it in the sense of share everything that God has put in your heart. Now, the Apostle Paul, like we said, he, he stated, we know in part and we prophesy in part. That means God only reveals few things to us and we speak those few things. We speak the things that He reveals. Now, don't try and add to that. You know, don't try to spice up your prophecy. Don't try to, you know, un unnecessarily add parts that God didn't give you. It's only going to confuse the other person. And uh, it's going to make it very difficult for the other person to know what came from God and what's not from God. So we must commit ourselves to only prophesy the part or the parts that God has given to us. Don't add to it. Don't mix other things with it. You know, sometimes when you look at the, uh, look at the person, uh, you have some impressions, you have some prejudices, uh, you know, some, your, some of your own thoughts and uh, some, maybe some information you already know about the person. Leave all that aside. Only speak the things God has given to you. Just communicate that. We know in part, and we prophesy in part, and that's all God wants us to do. Let's do our part. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that we could be your mouthpieces, that we could speak the things you put in our hearts and reveal to us, and that it will bring blessing to those around us and let it just glorify you in Jesus name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit abcwo.org.